So in this sum, length is 75, height is 35 and width is 54. Now when you see from the front, you will see this part. So first we will draw this. Now if you see in this, first length is 75, height is 35. Then this length is 20, go down by 5, here you go up, then again you go inside by 15 and you join this. So this much we will be able to see. Then if you see in front view, you won't be able to see this part. If you see carefully, you won't be able to see this triangular part which is hidden from the front side. So what we will do, we will draw that as well. After that, there is one more thing that is this slot which is going through and through. So if you see, there will be one more hidden line, there will be one more edge which is going through and through which you can't see from front side. So we need to draw that also. So from here we need to take 12 and we'll draw dotted line. After that, we will draw top view. So if you see from the top, you will see this C portion these two rectangles as well as base. So what we will do, first we will start with this, then these two and then third this. So first we will draw C portion. So for that, we can project from front view. We will get this C part. How much have to go down? 20. How much have to go inside? 12. Again 14. Again come out 20. So we get this C part. Then if you see this slope, which from top view, it will appear as a rectangle. So you draw this line. How much you have to mark? You have to mark 14 on this side and you join this. Same way from here, you mark 14 and you join this. So you get these two rectangles, which are these two. Now for the top view, the third part, you need to join all the boundaries. So you get the third part as well. Now for side view, when I see from this side, I will see this part, then this part, again this part. So what we will do, first part, then these two part and then third part. So again we will project from front view. So we will get block, first block. After that, we need to get these two rectangles. So for that we need to project from top view. and we project from front view. So whatever intersection we get, that is side view. See this, this part, as well as second part. Then we have to draw the entire third part, which is the boundary. So that we can draw. Now in this also, when you see from this side, you won't be able to see edge, which is going down through and through. This edge, which is going down through and through. So those two edges we have to project from top view and we extend. So we'll get two more dotted lines which will go through and through. See whenever depth is not mentioned we'll assume it is going through and through. 